actually this is a typical moment when the white players decide to capture on d5. If, uh, if you play this with white and you like to play more the solid and slower games, then this is a good moment to exchange because other way the black may capture on c4 and uh, later with b7, b5 making complications and, and uh, sharp positions. So here may time to take on, on d5, c takes d5, e takes d5 and we got already the structure, our ma minority attack structure with the three pounds on the queen side for white, the four pounds for black. We died of playing b4, b5. And the plan which I would like to show you in this example is black can try to prepare for the b5 move and being ready, be ready to play c5 and uh, try to prevent the exchange of the of the c pawns on in the way how white wants to do. So let us look how the game continued. Queen c2 right below the queen, g6 and also actually in this uh, game black shows one other motif which we said about uh, to get control of the e4 and the c4 squares by exchanging the light the white light square bishop for the black light square bishop so this is one another idea for black to try to fight against the minority attack. The idea of the g6 move is to prepare bishop f5 to attack the queen and maybe to be ready to exchange the bishop later on d3. Bishop g5, bishop g7, e3, bishop f5. Yeah, white would not like to move away with the queen because then the black bishop on f5 would be strong so he decided to exchange the bishops on d3. Knight bd7, castling, castling, rook b1, white is ready for the b4, b5 minority attack, queen e7, rook c1, queen e6, knight d2. This knight sometimes moves to d2 because wants to prevent the knight e4 move. Because after the exchange of, of the bishops, the e4 square became more vulnerable. And sometimes knight e4 is kind of a good move, a strong move, because it cannot be captured because it's the fork. So knight d2 may, may prevent that one. And also the knight again may go to f1 in a, sometimes to defend the king side. And one more plan with that knight, knight b3, knight c5, to get to the c5 square. So after this move, rook e8, exchange the knight, and b4. Rook c8. And we should a little bit talk about this position. Please think a little bit, what do you think, who is better? What should white do? What should black do? So this is the moment when black is ready to play c5, if white plays b5, because already he is supporting that with the rook from c8, with the knight from d7. And uh, also white has uh, the queen on d3, so after an exchange on c5, the knight would capture with a tempo move. So this is kind of an ideal situation for black to play c5. So in this kind of situation, if you play this with white, then try to first control the c5 square a little bit with a few more pieces like with knight a4 for example and even maybe sometimes you if needed then you can play maybe knight b3 to support it again 
and only later play b5 when the when the c5 is is not really good or you think after the exchanging on c5 